giving children opportunities to uh, earn scholarships and have them attend our workshops where they get to meet our vendors. Our vendors are providing uh, resources to our children. And then what we also have the uh, students do is write a 200 word essay um, after interviewing a uh, business owner and asking them what do you do in your, um, in your business to promote inclusion and diversity. One day I'm downtown taking pictures, this guy walks past me, bumps me, nearly knocks me into the bayou. Uh, I have anger issues. So I went after the guy to give him a piece of my mind because he didn't say anything. When I caught up with him, something inside told me, give this guy a hug. So I gave him a hug and he hugged me back and he didn't let go for a while. And in my mind, I decided I'm not gonna let go until he does. Uh, when he let go, he ran away. Uh, a couple of years later, I'm working at Deerbrook. He runs into me, he recognizes me. I didn't recognize him at all. He let me know that he was on his way to the bridge at 45 behind uh, the aquarium to jump. And the fact that a total stranger gave him a hug, let him know that they cared, saved his life, gave him a new perspective. So my thing is I give free hugs because you never know when it can save a life. Uh, I'm always wearing something that says free hugs. Um, so that lets people know that they don't have to ask if they're feeling uncomfortable, because we all need human contact. Good morning, uh, my name is Crystal Brooks. I'm with um, Northwest Educational Center. We specialize in healthcare and beauty careers. We're the only school I'm aware of in the state of Texas that's no cost. It's absolutely free, not one penny out of your pocket, no student loan debt. Um, you can graduate in as little as seven and a half months. Uh, we also do job placement. We've been around for 31 years. We have day and evening classes. Uh, is just to see, I guess, the growth and seeing people have the opportunity yes. um, that otherwise they would have never dreamed of. It's incredibly, you know, just amazing. And hopefully, with you know your help, you can get the word out that there, you know, are resources for people. Yeah. Um, All right. So. Eleven years ago, I started a book called "It's Time to Uncover Original Blueprint." And in that journey, the main thing that I learned is that. When we were in our mother's womb, we were birthed with our own purpose. And right. so many of us in life get caught up in other people's lives. Mm -hmm. And you think you're living your own life. But actually, if someone's asked you questions about yourself personally, where you would like to go, what are your likes, dislikes, your passions, you don't so much have those answers. But if you're in a, a family situation, you might have the answers for your, your children, your spouse, or for other people. And that just means you thought you were living your life, but you're actually living through someone else vicariously. And people say that very haphazardly, that I'm living my life, but it truly happens. And for that reason, the grave graveyard is full of purpose. Yes. We're brought here to fulfill our own purpose. Everybody has a unique thing that they're supposed to fulfill. Uh, my name is Jackie, and um, I'm actually I'm a licensed agent for National Guardian. Live and today my mission is to actually educate and bring awareness of preparation for funeral arrangements. You know, most of the time we don't think about it. You know, I it know. happened to us about a couple of years ago where mm -hmm. my I have Latin family. Right. We don't okay. think about preparing at all for it. Right. My uncle passed away. Okay. Woke up 50s. Who would have thought he would have passed away in his age 50s? Right. Mm -hmm. Nobody was ready for it. Mm -hmm. We were, that was a shocking to all of us. So of course everybody came in. If we, he would have been prepared, we would have, you know, been, you know, been able to, you know, not take the burden away from his wife, but his children and all of everybody else. Right. So my mission today is just to bring that awareness, you know, to so important. how important it is to prepare, not just for you, but for your family. Uh, I work for Molina Healthcare. I'm a uh, benefit consultant. What I do is, well, well, let me tell you a little bit about Molina, that way you can understand what I'm doing. Okay, Molina was founded in, in, in 1980 by a doctor, Dr. David Molina. He was an emergency room physician, mm -hmm. and you know how this works. You work and you see nobody help the poor people, right? right. And then, he's a doctor, so he went and opened a clinic. Oh, okay. And then, you know, since he was helping people, some pay, regardless of their ability to pay or not, right? He, more people's coming and coming. He started growing and growing and growing. He opened another clinic and another one, and you know how they work. 
-hmm. When you do good things, good things happen, good right? Good things happen, yes. Right. Yeah. So finally, he applied to the state of California to become a uh, HMO. Mm -hmm. My job is a water health of the community. Right. You say, well, within well, role, uh, I helped him with the program. I don't know if you're familiar with the Star Plus. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which is okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I come and help the people and explain. First, I'm go to the organizations because if you know what we're doing, right. you can help. Right. You okay. uh, you know the community right. easily, and yeah. I go to all the organization and try to tell them what Molina doing, and it's a lot. Make my job a lot easier because you know what? Instead of me going one by one, see, you helping me. <laughs> right. Without you know. Hey. <laughs> we in 2019. Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. So this is the new year. And, and what I, the way I see it, it can't help but bring about new changes and good yeah. things for yourself. Right. So one of the things that my company does, which is Crossroads Job Solutions, like you say, we're located on second floor, is we help people with disability find jobs. And that's uh, all types of disabilities and all ages. <clears throat> And then, and, and also, one of the things I try to do, I try to find a job that's in, in my uh, client's area, so they don't have to travel far. I try to find a job that they're interested in, a job that's a good fit for them. Because you know, when you're working on a job and you don't like it, you don't stay long. Mm -hmm. But if it's something that you like, you will stay there longer. Also, I teach them how to cope with the different things that you experience on the job, right. you know, because you're not, you know, it's not good all the time to up and quit when something doesn't work out right. You got to learn how to deal with it, right. you know, because you don't like someone, say hi and keep moving, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. you know. Well, thank you so much. You know, I have to say this, you know, there's, a, there's an old African proverb and that proverb is, it, it, it takes a, a village to raise a child, yes, it does. but it also takes a community mm -hmm. to raise a family. Yes, yes. And you are the embedment, the embodiment of all of that. <laughs> I, I, I really salute you and honor you. And that is the one reason why I'm here, because we at the All of Us program, and I'll tell you a little bit about it, but not so much, because I want you to come over to visit uh, mm -hmm. my table. But we, are, we try to find and partner with an organization that has the same principles and values uh, from the Cobb Institute. And okay. the Cobb Institute is who I represent. Okay. But we have a partnership with the National Institute of Health, uh, which is uh, NIH, the All of Us program. It's a research study um, that I'll talk more a little bit about. But it's sort of our mission almost parallels with your mission. Okay. And we just don't go out and partner with anybody. We just don't go out and, uh, mm -hmm. and go to any event right. and put up our table and disseminate information. Right. It has to be something that fits with what we do right. and fits with what we believe in, and that right. is to help communities. Um, there's a huge disparity, as you well know, right. uh, particularly among and in the African-American community. I'm not even going to use this. <laughs> uh, uh, African-American communities and the Latino communities with health disparities, whether it be from breast cancer, whether it be from prostate cancer, hypertension, uh, cardiovascular disease, there's a huge disparity. And one of the things that the Cobb Institute does and has been doing over the last 15 years is reducing to help decrease those health disparities through research, studies, and just education, and referrals and resources. Yeah. Resources are huge for people. Some people just don't know where to go to get help. Right. It could be as simple as that. Mm -hmm. So at the Cobb Institute, um, which I represent, that's what we do. Has anybody ever heard of the Cobb Institute? I am going to cheat a little bit. <laughs> Has anybody ever heard of it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to read this because I think he's fascinating. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about Dr. Cobb. And I didn't even know who Dr. Cobb was. But Dr. Cobb, again, I'm over 20, uh, <laughs> Dr. Cobb made history when he became the first African American to earn a PhD in anthropology. With degrees in medicine, physical anthropology, he aimed to create a less racialized perspective on human life. His research showed the impact race could have on health of a person. 
This also made him an activist. Cobb was able to show that racism in America had an impact on health and livelihood of African Americans. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know who Dr. Cobb was until no, I did a little you research about me that. I did a little research, but right. it's amazing. Right. The story is amazing. Yes, yeah. so the Cobb Institute's mission is to become a value resource for data information research pertaining to racial and ethnic health and health disparities and to leverage the scientific skills and clinical acumen of NMA physicians to produce reality-based solutions. So the NMA consists of about 3,000 African-American physicians. And the Cobb Institute became an organization, or if you will, a subcommittee of that. And our mission again is to decrease health disparities. Because when we decrease health disparities, and there's, a, there's another proverb that I like to use, unfortunately, the name is unknown and the origin is unknown. And that is when a community is healthy, all will prosper. And it is so true. So I leave you with that, and I thank you so very much for having me here. I appreciate it very much, and uh, come visit me at the table. All right. Thank you.